very important for the economy. You not only bring artists in, you have patrons come in, you get sponsors, you get huge, enormous impact uh, on uh, marketing. That's realistic. And a film festival is 45 years old, has a lot of history. So over the years, from when I was an agent, I had various clients who were honored here and films that have come here. So I think it's a marvelous festival. I read the book something like three or four years prior to the audition, and so I I was very familiar with the story. I was a fan of it, in fact. Well, I read the book, and it stuck to me, it stuck to my bones, and I knew that this was a movie that had to be told. You have to go with your spirit, you know, you have to go with your gut, and never let anyone tell you no, that you can't do anything. the action to, uh, to express myself, <laughs> to uh, send some kind of messages from. When I'm choreographing uh, the action sequence, I'm uh, directing a, a dancing scene. I'm using the musical technique to shoot the action sequence. Yeah, I have great time uh, shooting this movie in China. In Hollywood, it usually take a much longer time to set up a project. But in China, I just um, you know, walk into the office and uh, let them know I want to make a movie called Red Grip. With an audience, I saw it in Cannes at the official screening, and it was a dream screening. Um, it was amazing. Uh, it was a very, it was very emotional, very strong. You know, for a tough, strong film like that in a room full of cinephiles and people that follow cinema, to be absolutely quiet and rapt is really exciting. I love Day in the Life movies. I love like Mike Lee movies and movies that really look at sort of the human experience and, and in a comedic and also a uh, maybe melancholy way. And so I wanted to write a movie about a woman who's a mother and just focus on that struggle of what it means to be a mother and be funny and be emotional. Catherine Diekman wrote this beautiful script and it was so human and touched me and um, I thought it was very true and very funny and so I had to share it with everyone. It was very similar to, to experiences I had. That's one of the things I loved about it. It was beautifully familiar, um, although a totally different character, but it was the backdrop that that period of my life kind of existed on. It's kind of like a home movie.